Welcome to our comparison video on switching from 33 by 12.50 R20 to 35 by 12.50 R20. The diameter difference between these tire sizes is 6.1%, which exceeds the acceptable 3% range. You'll likely need to make modifications such as installing a lift kit or adjusting the suspension to accommodate the larger tires. Switching to the 35 by 12.50 R20 increases the diameter by 2 inches, 50.88 millimeters, which in turn raises the vehicle's ground clearance. This increase could improve your vehicle's off-road capabilities and ability to navigate obstacles, but it might also affect handling and stability due to a higher center of gravity. Moving on to the tire width. Both tire sizes share the same width of 12.52 inches, 318 millimeters ensuring that the contact patch remains unchanged. This consistency maintains the traction and stability characteristics of the vehicle, ensuring predictable handling and braking performance. Concerning the sidewall height, switching to the 35 by 12.50 R20 increases the sidewall height by 1 inch, 25.44 millimeters. The larger sidewall height could result in a softer ride and better impact absorption compared to the smaller sidewall of the 33 by 12.50 R20. This might be particularly noticeable in off-road conditions or on rougher roads. With the larger 35 by 12.50 R20 tires, the speedometer will read slightly lower than the actual speed. For example, at a speedometer reading of 20 miles per hour, the actual speed will be 21.21 miles per hour. This difference is significant and important to note for maintaining accurate speed readings and complying with speed limits. Based on our observation, switching to 35 by 12.50 R20 offers benefits such as increased ground clearance, which can enhance off-road performance and obstacle clearance. The taller sidewall may also provide a more comfortable ride, especially on rough terrain. However, there are some shortcomings to consider. The significant increase in diameter, 6.1%, exceeds the recommended 3% limit, which may require substantial vehicle modifications. This change could also negatively impact fuel efficiency due to increased rolling resistance and weight. The higher center of gravity might affect handling and stability, particularly during cornering or in high-speed situations. Additionally, the speedometer inaccuracy is notable and could lead to unintentional speeding if not accounted for.